Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pam Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. <clears throat> we are resuming our read on Deuteronomy, the ninth chapter and the 13th verses. So Moses given two stone tablets and times of rebellion remembered. So we just got, Moses is just bringing them back to remembrance what all they've been through and what all God has done for them. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Further, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molded calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tablets, and I cast them out of my two hands, and break them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at first. Forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins, which ye sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Isn't there something I didn't never realize he did that twice, forty days and forty nights, back to back pretty much. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure wherewith the Lord was wroth against you to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me, as that as that time also at that time also, and the Lord was angry with Aaron to have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also at the same time, and I took your sin, the calf which he had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it out, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust, and I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And Tabira, and at Masa, and at Kibrahata Avi, Ava, ye provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadeshbar, Kadeshbarnia, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, that ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. At least the land whence thou brought us, us out, say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people and thine inheritance, which thou brought us out by thy mighty power and by thy outstretched hand. Chapter 10. And at that time the Lord said unto me, Hew thee two two tables of stone, like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of sittim wood, and hewed two tables of stone, like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spake unto you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them unto me. And I turned my side, I turned myself, and came down from the mount and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they be, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beeroth of the children of Jaakan to Mozira. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar, his son, ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jotbath, 
a land of rivers, of waters. At that time, the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name unto this day. Wherefore, Levi had no part nor inheritance with his brethren. The Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord thy God promised him. And I stayed in the mount according to the first time, forty days and forty nights. And the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also, and the Lord would not destroy thee. And the Lord said unto me, Arise, take thy journey before thy people, that they may go in, in and possess the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heavens and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's thy God, the earth also with all that therein is. Everything belongs to the Lord. Only the Lord hath the delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. So circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords. He's a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. He doth exercise the judgment of the fathers and the widow, and loveth the stranger in giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, him shalt thou serve, and to him shalt thou cleave, and swear by his name. He is thy praise, and he is thy God, that hath done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. Thy fathers went down into Egypt with three score and ten persons. And now the Lord thy God hath made thee as the stars of the heaven for a multitude. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearers, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word. We're going to stop right there. We have about ten seconds left. So we'll resume on chapter 11. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful read, just reminding them of what they went through and what stiff-necked they are just like today that's why god doesn't come down his earth now with these fires and rains and storms and plagues and hornets and 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 and, and uh, uh corona and all this other stuff that's down here because we stiff-necked praise god but not smurf we're not stiff-necked we don't repent we're trying to live right for the lord i want to say thank you for being a part of the smurf club for your continued donation of twenty dollars to paypal.me forward slash pamela dobson paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson and or dollar sign Mama Pam 23 dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf, seven minute read family, seven minute read followers, just seven minute read faithful folk. We broadcast across 16 social media sites and we do broadcast specific standard time, 7 p.m. every evening. Whether live or pre-recorded broadcast, the word of God will go forth. Praise God. On Smurf, it'll be posted Facebook on Smurf or Pamela Dobson on Facebook every evening at 7 o'clock. The Lord delay is coming. I'll be posting regardless how I feel, what I'm going through. I post. All right. Remember, Jesus loves you and I love you too. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Remember, we live in faith and not fear. God bless. <music>